Today, we're gonna to be joined by a very exciting company in the biotech space, Candle Therapeutics. We're lucky enough to talk to Francesca Barone, the Chief Scientific Officer. Francesca, how are you doing today? I'm very good, thank you for having us, uh, talking about Candel. Of course, thank you for joining us. Before we get into it, do you mind just giving us a brief overview of Candel Therapeutics? Sure. So Candel is a clinical stage uh, uh, biopharmaceutical company, and we are focused on the developing, on the developing of uh, multimodal biological immunotherapies uh, uh, to help patients fight cancer. We have two clinical candidates. One is uh, CAN3110 and the other one is CAN2409. They are both uh, uh, viruses that are delivered intratumorally. They've got different mechanisms of action and they are already developed in, uh, uh, in different phases of clinical trials. CAN3110 is currently in a phase 1B uh, clinical trials. Uh, while SCAN2409 is in phase two in uh, lung cancer and pancreatic cancer, and is actually in phase three in prostate cancer. We also have a new discovery platform uh, that is based, based on HSV and uh, has been recently uh, unveiled and is called the Enlightened Discovery Platform. Can you tell us a little bit more about CAN3110? What is it and how does it work? So uh, CA3110, CAN3110, how we call it in-house, is, uh, is a clinical candidate. It's uh, the second clinical candidate for Candel Therapeutics. It's a real oncolytic virus. That means that this is a virus that is delivered at the site of the tumor and it kills tumor cells. And by doing that, it releases tumor antigens that normally are hidden inside the tumor cells themselves. It causes inflammation in the tumor and it also attracts immune cells. And so you have a reaction against the tumor, both at the site of injection, but also systemically because the tumor cells are capable to get out in the circulation and, uh, uh, and go around uh, uh, in the body. And so mount a very systemic uh, uh, anti-tumoral response. Um, CAN3110 is different from the other oncolytic viruses. All the other oncolytic viruses in, uh, in development uh, tend to be replication defective. That means that there's been uh, a removal of a gene that causes tumor replication, that causes, sorry, viral replication. Uh, but in CAN3110, we've been able to selectively place this gene under a control of a promoter that uh, enables CAN3110 only to replicate and therefore kill tumor cells. Got it. Well, CAN3110 is currently being evaluated in glioma. Can you tell us more about glioma, the current treatment landscape, and how you're utilizing CAN3110 to address the unmet need? So uh, glioma is one of the most uh, uh, daring um, indications in terms of cancer. So this has got uh, uh, normally patient with uh, high grade glioma and in particular recurrent high grade glioma that is the indication uh, where CAN3110 is currently in development uh, have a very uh, short uh, uh, expectation of life. So normally uh, the median overall survival for this patient is less than six to nine months. This is a patient that have been already treated for glioma in the first instance uh, and uh, they recur. That means that they failed uh, the first standard of care that is surgery, radiotherapy, chemotherapy. And uh, so there are very little uh, therapeutic options for these patients. There are some experimental treatments, uh, but none of them has really shown uh, improvement in the overall survival. Um, and we have just recently reported instead some data that really make us believe that CAN3110 is an option for this treatment, for this patient population. And then Francesca, can we dive a little more into recent data from the CAN3110 phase one trial published in Nature in the significance? Yeah, these are the data that I was alluding to before. In, uh, in this publication uh, in Nature in October, we have reported the uh, first the data on uh, the first cohort of patients treated. So we have 50 patients that have been treated with a single dose of CAN3110, and we've achieved a median overall survival of 12 months in this patient population. That is almost doubling the expected median overall survival for patients with recurrent tiger glioma. What is very exciting is that when we started to look at factors associated with survival, we detected that patients that had pre-existent immunity against HSV-1, that is the type of virus that CAN3110 has been uh, modified from, 
have actually even increased the survival uh, advantage. And this means that the pre-existent immunity against the virus supports the anti-tumoral response. Uh, and so in this patient, we've achieved a medium over survival of uh, almost 14 months. The patient that had this pre-existent immunity were the one that mounted even a stronger immune response after treatment. And so they were the one that were able to expand their T cell repertoire and T cell activity, cytotoxic activity against the tumor cells. And Francesco, you recently received FDA fast track designation for recurrent high grade glioma. What does this designation mean for Candel and what can we expect results from your phase 1B trial? Uh, so this has been a very important recognition for us and for the program. Um, fast track designation is, uh, is a recognition from the FDA that the program uh, has uh, uh, value and the program is recognized to be evaluated in a slightly different way. So we have some advantages in terms of uh, been uh, um, undergoing a faster review for the data. And so the FDA is a, is, is a statement of a really close collaboration between the company and the FDA to speed up the process of development for uh, encouraging uh, um, uh, investigational agents like CAN3110. For us, it's extremely important is supporting the next phase of development. At the moment, we are testing CAN3110 in multiple injections uh, uh, cohort. The data that I mentioned to you before about the pre existing immunity to HSV1 is not just in patients that had these antibodies uh, to start with, but also in patients that were able to acquire antiviral antibodies after the first injection. And this makes us really believe that if we give multiple injections of CAN3110, we can potentiate the response against the virus and therefore against the uh, um, the tumor itself. So we are very excited about the possibility of exploring this in the current uh, open cohort. Um, we have planned to disclose data on this multiple injection cohort in the second half of 2024. Beautiful. Well, outside of what you just outlined, what is next for CAN3110? Oh, we are very excited about actually the next phases of development of this agent. Uh, what I told you before is that we've modified this virus uh, to be um, responding uh, to a, a specific protein that is inside the tumor cells. And this is not just present uh, in uh, uh, recurrent high-grade glioma cells, it's called nesting. And it's a protein that is expressed in other type of tumors, very aggressive tumors like melanoma, for example, of uh, triple negative breast cancer or sarcoma. So we now want to test the CAN3110 in this other indication. We're gonna do some preclinical work, some safety, work uh, and then we're going to be very excited to test this in this uh, uh, met need this the new indications well francesca thank you so much it's been a pleasure to learn more about candle therapeutics and can 3110 again candle therapeutics is trading on the nasdaq ticker c a d l thank you again francesca thank you so much for having me